Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Car and Truck Country of Flemington on the Dodge side. Take a look at this beautiful, brand new 2023 Dodge Durango. This is the RT with the premium package and the tow and go package, which are two very expensive packages in this beautiful destroyer gray color. So let's check this out See what it brings to the table in this performance three row SUV market. And let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Durango and Destroyer Gray with the black grille up on top and down the bottom with the Dodge badge on the right side, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps, functional side air curtains, it looks really, really muscular, really, really good. And then as we come up on the hood, you have the hood scoop right in the middle and heat extractors on the hood as well. Looking really nice. Wheel and tire package on this Durango RT Premium with the tow and go. And the tow and go brings some action here on the wheels. It brings this 20 inch aluminum wheel looking really nice with the Dodge badge in the middle. You get Brembo brakes, all four corners with SRT performance brake pads, which is a nice touch. You also get the high performance exhaust. You get the uh, performance tuned suspension, adaptive damping, all four corners, really nice setup. Now these wheels are wrapped in 20 inch Pirelli P0 all season tires, 295 on the width a 45 series sidewall, 20s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Durango in the Destroyer Gray. I love the fact that we got the aluminum wheels rather than more black wheels. I think it really looks good against the Destroyer Gray color. And of course that classic Durango styling hasn't changed in a while, but it still looks pretty cool. As we move on in closer, you have the Hemi call out on the front fender because you got the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. Then you have gloss black on the side view mirrors with LED turn signals. Color matched on the front and the rear door handle with a left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we do have some flat black on the roof rails. Color matched with a gloss black shark fin antenna. And this particular Durango does have a regular style sunroof. All right, this Durango, we have that deck lid spoil, or excuse me, deck lid spoil, roof spoiler coming off the top. We have the windshield wiper on the lower part of the glass, Dodge in the middle, Durango on the left side of the tailgate, RT on the right with that Dodge badge and the number four as well, indicating the all wheel drive. We have LED taillights, LED brake lights, LED turn signals, and a functional dual exhaust for this Hemi V8. So let's take a listen, see how she sounds. All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Durango RT, and we have a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. 360 horsepower, 390 pound-feet of torque, this Durango can tow up to 7,200 pounds. MPGs, 14 in the city, 22 on the highway, 17 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 91, so you'll need to fill it up with premium unleaded fuel. Before we get into the interior of this 2023 Durango, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this gorgeous destroyer gray Durango cost? Well, ain't cheap with the premium action and the tow and go uh, in addition. So what do we have in here besides our regular standard equipment? Because the base price for the Durango RT is $53,595, but then we have to add an extra $395 for that Destroyer Gray clear coat paint, an extra $1,000 for the SRT Performance Seat with the second row fold and tumble captain's chairs with six passenger seating. Then 
an extra $6,500 for the premium package, which gives you premium LED fog lamps, advanced brake assist, suede headliner, power sunroof, premium instrument panel, power eight-way driver seat with memory and eight-way passenger seat, heated second row seats, ventilated front seats, power driver and passenger four-way lumbar, then lane departure warning plus LED aux slow beam and turn signals, automatic dimming exterior driver mirror, full speed forward collision warning, exterior mirrors with supplemental signals, black roof rails, adaptive cruise control with stop, trailer brake controller, class four receiver and hitch, 19 speaker Harman Kardon speakers with the subwoofer and an 825 watt amplifier, dual remote charge only USB port, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, forged carbon fiber interior accents. Wow. And then we have to add on top of that the tow and go package for an additional 5,990. And that's going to give you a spare tire delete. And then we go with the red Brembo brakes with SRT performance pads, QuadraTrack active on demand four wheel drive, electronic limited slip diff on the rear axle, drive modes for sport, track, tow, and snow. It is governed to 145 mile an hour top speed, automatic headlamp leveling system, active noise control system, high performance exhaust, performance tuned steering, high performance suspension, adaptive damping suspension, all four corners, the run flat tires with the Pirelli 295 45 20s all seasons and then you got those 20 inch by 10 inch hyper black aluminum wheels wow and then your destination charge of $1,595 gives you a total MSRP of $69,075 wow that's a lot of stuff let's check out the interior starting with the foot box a nice large dead pedal that's carpeted Brake and accelerator with rubber finish. I really would like to see aluminum finish on these pedals, as well as the dead pedal. This is a performance-oriented SUV, and I think that would just finish off the foot box really, really well. You have your carpeted floor mats that really don't say anything on them. Would have been nice to have a Dodge or Durango badge on there. We do have a Dodge sill plate in aluminum that welcomes you to the car. We already talked about, with the window sticker, the power seats with lumbar for the driver and front passenger. Then we have these beautiful seats with the black, red stitching, Alcantara insert with the Dodge badge, nice headrests with the stitching, a really nice looking interior. Door panel time, nice soft material up top. We do have gloss black around that chrome door handle. We have those carbon fiber accents on the door right above the armrest, which has the stitching. Semi-soft, flat black on the switch gear, that Harman Kardon speaker down below for the 19 speaker system. I think earlier I said 18, it is 19. To the dash, we have soft touch up here, more of those carbon fiber accents right here with the stitching looking good. And down below, we have a nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have a nice integrated Chrysler Uconnect inf infotainment system with your heat and air vents on either side. Touch screen action. Yep, and it's pretty responsive. Not crazy, but not bad here for the Uconnect. Now, we can access our he uh, heated and ventilated seats and heated steering wheel from this area here, or they have controls down below, which I'll show you as well. We do have, if we go into vehicle settings, we can get to our performance pages, hit the launch performance pages, and now you can get additional gauges that you want to see, coolant temp, oil temp, oil pressure, trans temperature, battery level. So they got all that action. We got a dyno the engine. We got a G-force meter. We have vehicle dynamics going on on these performance pages. We got timers. So all sorts of cool stuff 
here in this infotainment system in the performance page section. And we should have this considering we have a performance SUV. From without a doubt, we got two pages. We can go to page two and we got our air intake temp. So we got all sorts of action going on in here. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, as we move back to check out the backup camera. Nice large backup camera with trajectory with your center line for the tow hitch. So they got you covered there. No 360 degree cameras in this Durango, which is too bad. But it's a nice setup here for this older Uconnect 4 system with the, with the wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. As we move down, we have more nice with stitching of this soft touch. Here's your engine stop start. Here's your trailer hookup and release. And then down here, they have all these redundant hard switches for a lot of the stuff that's in your infotainment screen. So here's your three-stage heated seat, three-stage ventilated seat for the driver and the front passenger with your heated steering wheel. You have your dual climate control that you can set up, which is a nice touch. We have our modes with hard switches, track, sport, tow, and snow. You got eco off, parking sensors, lane keep assist, traction control off. Down below, you got two sets of USB-Cs, two sets of USB-As, a wireless charging pad, an area for storage. As we move down further, here's the gear shift to go through. This eight-speed automatic transmission with a nice looking gator, two cup holders. And then we have our Dodge key fob. Looks like any other Dodge key fob. Unlock, lock, pop the tailgate, remote start, panic button, Dodge badge on the back. Looks nice. And then we have our center armrest, semi-soft, again, with the stitching. And it's this two-stage opener. You can open up stage one with a nice felt lining for some storage, maybe for some papers or your phone. And then we can go deeper into the larger area for storage. Again, nice felt lining with a 12 volt. And also, there's another 12 volt next to the glove box right here. So they got you covered for power in this Durango. Dodge steering wheel, nice leather wrapped steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, some chrome trim, Dodge on the on the horn button. We have flat black on all the switch gear with the flat bottom steering wheel to help you get in and out of this vehicle, which is a nice touch. On the left, we have our telephone voice commands and our controls for our digital dash. And then on the right, you got your cruise control, and then you have your hookup and unhook your trailer. We do have paddles that go up and down this eight-speed automatic transmission. On the stalks right here, you can control your front and rear wiper. And then down below, we can control our headlight settings, fog lamp settings, bright and dim the dash. This is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then we come in to our digital dash, which looks cool, where we have those gauges already set up for your fuel level, coolant temperature, and tack. And then if you like, you can go through different information in the center area that you may want to see as you're driving down the road. So it's a nice, easy system to set up and you can hit OK or you can go to your kilometers per hour, miles per hour, or you can go to an old fashioned speedometer or you can come back to your regular digital uh, screen, which is nice. We go through our uh, drive modes, and here we go with sport, and you got sport mode on, and you get a checkered flag. Then you can go and check tow mode, and then you get a picture of the Durango with a trailer, and then you can go to snow, and now you got the Durango going up to snow banks, and then you can come back to your track mode, and track mode is on, and then traction control is disabled and all the nannies are off for massive action. But with this performance SUV today, we're not gonna be on the track. We'll leave it in sport mode for our drive today, but a nice, easy uh, to, uh, to figure out, very intuitive digital dash, nice job. All right, we have our overhead console. We have non-LED dome lighting. Would have liked to see an LED in a $70,000 vehicle, but we do have our button to punch, pop the tailgate if we open the door, as you can see, the non-LED lighting will come on and they will go off once you close the door. If I can close it, there we go. 
And now we have our controls for our sunroof. However, the shade you have to open with your hand and then you can just one touch open and your wind buffeter comes up and then one touch back. No problem, easy peasy one, two, three. And then you can just close that with your hand. Alcantara headlining, like we mentioned earlier, really nice sun visor with vanity and lighting. And does it slide? Yes, it does to cover up the side sun. Nicely done. All right, mid-row captain chair time in the Durango. This driver's seat is set for my driving position. We'll come on in. Nice and easy. Plenty of knee room, plenty of headroom at 5 foot 11. We have that nice material coming off the back, but we do have plastic on the seat backs with cargo nets behind each front seat. And then here on the center console, we got a little bit of a command center going on. We got two heat and air vents, two USBs, a home power source, and two stage heated seats for both mid row passengers. But I think maybe at 70 grand, might like to see some ventilated seats back here. Let me know what you think about that. Door panel action, same nice door panels as the front with the soft touch and the chrome and the carbon fiber accents. As we see our front door panel looking good, and then the back door panel looking good. We have the same nice captain's chairs here in the back with the stitching and the Alcantara insert with the Dodge emblem in the middle. Nice bolstering, really looks good. We have the captain's chair armrest to come down. Not bad, a little skinny, but not bad, but it doesn't ratchet, so I like this the way it is. So overall, it is a nice place to be in the back of this Durango. And on the ceiling, we do have some rear heat and air controls back here. So you can put this on however you would like to make sure that the backseat passengers stay comfortable. So that's a nice touch. And our heat and air vents here in the back are in the ceiling. And then we got some dome lighting as well. So they got you covered in the back of this Durango, at least here in the mid-row. Let's check out row number three. Also, between the two captain's chairs, we do have two cup holders and a little tray to hold some stuff. So they do have the cup holders here in the back in the Durango. All right, getting in the rear third row. Well, how do we move this cap captain's chair out of the way? This will only fold the captain's chair flat. So what you're going to do here is we have a orange strap here in the back and you're going to pull that seat folds flat and then you can pull up and now that moves it out of the way and gives you plenty of room to get into third row so kind of a manual operation but better than squeezing in to a third row like we see on some other brands now we are in the third row i'm going to pull this back down and here we go with our foot room Looks pretty good overall. If you look behind this one, which is almost all the way back, looks like we got good amount of space back here for a large person like me at five foot 11. And then back here, we have nice, same nice seats with the Alcantara, nice headrest. So they didn't cheap out on the third row, which is very nice. Good job, Dodge, for that. We do have a cup holder, but we don't have any connectivity here in the back of the third row on either side just a cup holder and in the ceiling some heat and air vents and some dome lighting so that is pretty much it in the back but it is pretty darn comfortable and i like this entire headliner is all alcantara really looks nice but if i had to be in the third row as a passenger i think i'd be all right maybe not on a 10-hour drive but i'd be all right here back here for a while all right, rear tailgate time, pop it from the overhead console, pop it from your key fob, or you can come to the back and right here in this handle, nice button, push it, nice electric assist on the way up for the tailgate, and nice electric assist on the way down using this button right here. We have some cubbies, and all right, on one side, here's the front license plate bracket. I really like these aluminum finish to protect getting in and out of the tailgate, which is nice. Over on the right side, we got some tie, tie downs and we have, I can get it off, a 12 volt. So they got you covered there. And now underneath here, 
Open that up. We have more storage. Remember, we have a rear seat delete. Or see, rear seat delete. Spare tire delete in this. And now, here's your third row. Pretty good amount of space with the third row up. But if you want the third row down, it's a piece of cake. You just have to pull this strap. It goes down. And you push down. Pull this lever. Headrest goes down. And you can throw it down. And now, you have a lot more space for those larger items, which is a nice touch, but there aren't any levers here in the back to put down the mid row. So if you want the mid row down because you need to max out your space for humongo items, well then you gotta come around to each door, hit this lever, and the seat folds flat. And then go around to the other side of the vehicle Hit the lever, seat folds flat, and now with those seats down, you have massive amounts of room for those extra large items that you may need to carry around. But a great amount of room here in this Durango, but I would have liked to seen a lever back here to be able to put the mid-row seats down instead of having to walk around to each door. Let me know how you feel about that, but I like all the room in this Durango. All right, here is the window sticker for this 2023 Durango RT. And as we zoom in closer, you can see we have that performance package. Optional equipment, there's your performance package. And then we come over to the top, we can finish that performance package. And then we have the tow and go package and destination and total price. So, Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are on the road in this 2023 Durango RT with that premium and the tow and go package for big dollars. 70 grand for this baby. That's some serious money for an RT Durango. So let's see what she's gonna bring to the table here on the drive. Love the sound of that Hemi V8 rumbling out the back. Sounds really good. Suspension's well damped. We have this performance steering, performance suspension, adaptive dampers. They got this thing loaded up with all their suspension stuff. The Brembo brakes to throw out the anchors, the SRT pads. So let's see what she's going to do. We're in manual, we're in sport mode, paddle action. some serious action right there baby so this thing can get up and move with this v8 love how how it just accelerates beautifully the eight speed automatic is nice and smooth just glorious steering's tight so they've definitely put some action into this car performance wise or SUV, excuse me, performance-wise, with this tow and go. And it just feels really good. I feel really confident in here. Got great visibility out the window, front windshield, side glass, rear view mirror, rear glass. We got all the technology in here, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz. So some really good stuff going on in this Durango RT Premium Tow and Go. Emergency stop. Yeah, it just throws out the anchors. Perfect stop. Nice and linear. No problems. No big action with issues. And now we're going to go Well done, 
dodge well done with dodge with this action the red line on this engine is about 6,000 rpm intoxicating this V8 noise and it's going to be all over soon here in the Durango for these Hemi V8s and it's just too bad. Come down, turn to the left. Yeah, nice and planted. Not a lot of roll. Beautifully done. as you go again so just a glorious take this out of manual just a glorious sound really good response the steering since they put this performance steering in here I mean it feels a little heavy rather than your typical SUV where you have that light vague steering because you're just using it to drive your people and your stuff around town this thing geared for performance nice heavy steering you can really feel the car and where it's going on the road which i really like this adaptive dampers make sure that everything is 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 moving right down the road bumps or imperfections in the road it's going to adjust it's going to adjust as you go in and out of the turns to make sure you're all set there so just a really good setup in this rt premium with this performance and or excuse me uh, premium and tow and go action really nicely done now we're going to let the transmission shift for itself and see how it does That was good. So this eight speed is doing all right. As we barrel ass down the side roads here in Flemington, really nice action going on with this Durango RT. I really like this car. I know it's an older style. I know the interior may seem a little dated, but with this premium interior, with the nicer seats, with the Alcantara, and all that other jazz with the stitching it really brings it up to another level and a really nice level at that so i really like how that action's going even though the style of this is aging but it's all over after 2023 so you got to get these while they're here or else you may be regretting it if you want one of these with the v8 now obviously this 5.7 liter isn't the most powerful of the Hemis. This is pretty much your entry level Hemi for the most part. In this Durango, you can go with the Hellcat uh, as well in here and get that bigger engine. You can go 392 cubic inch uh, Hemi in here if, you're, if, you're, if you wanna go with the 392 package in the Durango. So you can get more powerful V8s. This is the entry level V8 for in here in this Durango and it is great it is fantastic and frankly you probably have to spend in the high 80s or 90s to go with the Hellcat Durango and probably high, mid 80s to high 80s for the 392 package in the Durango so I would think this one will bring you 80 percent 85 percent of that kind of performance without that big huge cost it's going to save you anywhere between 15 and 20 thousand dollars even though 70k isn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination for a durango rt it is saving you some action saving you some cash opposed to going hellcat or going with the 392 
Hemi instead of this 5.7 liter. So up to you to decide what you want to do. If you want to go Durango or are you going to go maybe somewhere else like the Explorer ST with that EcoBoost V6 that's making 400 horsepower, 415 pound-feet of torque, which is more horsepower than what this 5.7 liter Hemi makes. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I really don't want to stop driving this baby. This thing is just badass. But let me know what you think about the comments of this Durango RT Premium with that extra tow-and-go action. Let me know if you're looking about good with this being the last year of the Hemi V8, are you gonna are you looking at going Durango if you need this mid-size three-row SUV? Are you gonna go somewhere else? Are you gonna go to the competition? Let me know how you feel about it. But at the end of the day, it's all over after this year. The fat lady is singing on this 5.7 liter Hemi. So let me know if you're gonna grab one before it goes out of out of out of out of production. I want to thank Sioka car and truck country of Fleming ton in particular Sioka Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram for allowing the channel access to this beautiful destroyer gray 2023 Dodge Durango RT premium tow and go for review today I'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.